All right, today what we're going to be talking about is um, starting chapter five, which is relationships within triangles. Um, during Throughout this chapter, we're going to be discussing not only the relationships of the sides of the triangles, but some of the things that are within a triangle. All right. So today, specifically, what we're going to talk about is mid segments of triangles. A mid segment is a segment that connects the two midpoints of the two sides of the triangle. And every triangle has three mid segments. Okay. So, for example, this one, this one, and this one. It cuts the side equally in half and it connects to the opposite point. Okay? So, for example, AF is congruent to FB because of the mid segment FC. Okay? All right. So, that brings us to our theorem for the day, which says which is the mid-segment theorem. And this theorem states, the segment connecting the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half as long as that side. Confusing, I know. Here's a picture to help you out. So, what happens is this mid-segment right here, DE, is parallel to this side of the triangle, BC, and what it does is it the um, length of DE up here is um, half of BC, okay? So to figure out what DE is, we have to um, multiply, or we have to cut BC in half, okay? All right, so um, with those two things in, uh, with those two ideas in mind, we can actually use this to solve um, some problems. So it says example one, ED is a mid-segment of the triangle. Find the values of X and Y. Well, we should easily be able to figure out what X is because we know that mid-segments um, chop the side of the triangle equally in half. So if this is congruent to this, and this is 8, if EB is 8, then AE, which is X, should be 8, okay? Now, um, in order to figure out what AC is, or Y, we actually need to um, think about our theorem. Our theorem states that the mid-segment 3 is half of X, half of, or is is half of, in this case, y, excuse me, half of this side. So in order to do that, we actually need to, um, we actually need to double the mid-segment. So times 2, so y is going to equal 6. Okay? All right, next example, we have, um, YZ is a mid-segment mid of the triangle, and we want to find the uh, values of both X and Y. Same idea. So this entire side, XW, is 8. And we want to know, we know that this spot right here cuts this side in half equally. So what's half of 8? Well, Four. So y is going to equal 4. Now what about x? For x, we actually have to think about our mid-segment theorem, which states that x is going to be half of y. So what is half of 12? X is going to be 6. All right. Now to get a little bit more complicated and involve some algebra into our geometry lesson, we have if DE equals 4X plus 5 and GJ equals 3X plus 25, what is DE? 
So let's fill some of those values in. So we have DE is 4X plus 5. And we have GJ all the way down here is 3X plus 25. Well, if we want to find out what the value of this is, we just have to cut this in half. So we actually need to find out what x is first. So if we were to take 4x plus 5 and say, well, that's going to be equal to half of 3x plus 25, which is my side of my triangle. From here, we could solve, so we have 4x plus 5. Equals, well, we have to distribute that one half, so it'll become 3 halves x plus 5 halves And we can go from there. All right, so then we'll um, combine our like terms and we will eventually get, I'm just going to skip ahead. If you have any questions about how I do this, please bring them into class. But I'm just going to skip down to, I've put the x's on one side. And I've put my numbers on the other side. And I'm going to find out after doing the, um, oops, sorry, copy that down wrong. Um, I'm going to find that my x is going to equal negative one half. If I plug negative one half back into this equation, in order to figure out what de is, I'm going to have four times negative one half. plus 5, which is then going to turn out to be 3. All right, so some good old algebra to use in a geometry, um, into a geometry concept, and there you have it. So come in with any questions about mid-segments. They're fairly easy to understand. Um, if you really are having a hard time um, understanding how to do this, I do, or how this works, this is a great investigation. It's in your book. Um, you can definitely try it at home. Just cut out some triangles um, and fold them and do all the um, directions here, and it'll show you exactly why um, the mid-segment theorem works. All right? Any questions, bring them into class.